Hello and welcome to another game programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will going to learn how you can build a buying experience in the Unity. So in order to create this environment, I have created under my game object, under my user interface, I've created a text item which where you can see buy items. And I have created besides that a couple of toggles which are acting as my checkboxes. So here are my toggles. So when you expand on a toggle after you add it, each toggle has a label. So let me take you through. In the inspector, you go and you type whatever text you want to type, and that is the text that's going to appear to the right of that item. And that's exactly what I did with my shield items. I have two of them. Each one of them I gave a price value, $10 to the sword and $15 to the shield. So each one of them has a label. You can set all the properties of the label right from here. Font, font style, font size, the whole nine yards. And then you can set the color and everything else. This is actually the look and feel of the checkbox only. You can place it wherever you want to place it. You can set some of the basic properties like the background of the checkbox and so on and so forth. Each one of my checkboxes are actually tied to a script, which is pay script. I'll show you that script in just a minute. Then I have a result. What is result? Result is actually a place on my canvas where I am showing the output after a person makes a choice. And then I have a heading which I've showed you which is a text item here. Result is also a text item. So now let's go to the code behind the scene. The code behind the scene is only tied to the sword item and the shield item. So I have my pay script. Here's my pay script. In my pay script, I created a couple of public objects, sword and shield. I call them toggle objects and a text object answer. In my script, if you go out to each one of these shield items or sword item, which are tied to a script, here you can see the list of the items that I'm tying. So sword is actually tied to the sword on the canvas, shield is tied to the shield on the canvas, and the answer is tied to the result on the canvas, which is right here at the bottom here, this guy. So I've done that tying for both of them. Besides that, I have a variable int amount. Then in the start, I am adding to each one of the checkboxes an a value change listener means if the item gets checked or unchecked the add listener will going to call a method calculate which is right here in my script the calculate method will going to make the following checks if both of the toggle buttons are on the value in the amount will be 25 that's 10 plus 15 if only the sword is checked then it's going to be 10 and only if the shield is checked, it's going to be 15. If nobody's checked, it's going to be zero. And then in the answer, I will going to concatenate a dollar sign with the computed amount. And here, that's basically what the code is. Now let's look at how it looks like in the run mode. So I am back in my Unity environment. I'm going to start to play it. As I play it, I'll be able to make a choice of sort. And notice it goes up to 10. I make a choice of shield. Now it's 25. If I uncheck shield, it drops to 10. If I uncheck sword, it drops to zero. So that's basically what this example does. It allows you to create a buying experience in Unity. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Have a great day.